Hello, my name's Kevin Delaney. I am head professional here at Thaven Boys Golf Club. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my beginner golf series for 2023. We're gonna be looking at some different sort of ideas, concepts and stuff like that to get some new golfers up and ready for the spring so that you can get out there and play golf. But please don't feel that this is just restricted to new golfers because there's gonna be plenty of stuff in here for the more established golfer that you might wanna keep as some references to help you with your game. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button, give the video the thumbs up, and today we're gonna to be looking at grip. Right, so as I said, this is a beginner golf series. So we're gonna start off with some very basic stuff, build you up to get you to a point where you're gonna be playing golf. But please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel because you can use these as reference points to go back to when, you're, when you start getting into the game. So we're gonna start with grip, which is dead simple, um, and then gradually build up and put some different aspects in there. Right, so grip, how do you hold it? There's um, three different ways to hold the club. So you've got, I'll come a little bit closer, Baseball grip there, so 10 fingers on the club. There's, and there's advantages and disadvantages to each grip. So that's called a baseball grip. That's something that I might teach a younger golfer to do. Someone with smaller hands, putting more fingers on the club is gonna give them the sensation of more power. Um, a, an older golfer, an adult, I probably wouldn't show that. You've got interlock in there, so the little finger and the pointer finger there interlock on, on there so you've got all of the other fingers on the grip but not these two and you've got overlapping so there's again the hand the little finger just to rest on top whether it rests on top of the finger or just in the groove of the other hand doesn't matter but that's overlapping now there's no specific right or wrong it, it's a case of what feels comfortable to you and go with it like i say i probably wouldn't show a baseball grip to a, um, an adult but interlocking and overlapping, they both have advantages and disadvantages, but you kind of go with what you want. Right, and then you have something that you're gonna hear people talk about, strong grips, weak grips, neutral grips. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, and it's not about grip pressure. So when it comes to holding the golf club, how hard you should hold the golf club, it's roughly about like you'd hold a tube of toothpaste without squeezing anything out and no harder, okay? Because as you swing, the grip is gonna tighten up on that club, but if you start off tense and tight, it's not gonna result in a good swing. So you wanna hold that nice and lightly to begin with, so that's grip pressure, but what does strong and weak mean? Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple of pencils in my hands here. So I just hold them on my, uh, between my thumb and my fingers, and as I hold that on top right now. To have a weak grip would mean that as I hold this golf club, that these pencils in my hands are gonna to be to the left-hand side of the shaft. We'll get a close-up of that so you can see it, but that's what a weak grip is gonna to mean. So as you look down, I can see a lot of knuckles on this hand, and not a lot of knuckles on that, and that's a weak grip. A strong grip is the reverse, that that right hand's gonna get underneath the club, left hand a long way over the top there. That's gonna give the sensation of a lot of power. Now a weak grip can result in a ball flight that's gonna make the ball go to the right because it'll open the club face at impact, and a strong grip's gonna make the ball go to the left because it's gonna close the club face at impact. Um, but there's other matchups in your swing that are important which can influence that as well, but don't worry about that. To start with, you wanna be a neutral grip. So as you put those pencils in your hand, those pencils are gonna sit down the center line of the shaft, you're gonna hold it, and then as, I'm, as you're looking at me, as I'm looking at you there, you can't see any gaps to the grip there. Right. That's how you hold the golf club. Keep it nice and simple. Well, I'm gonna to move to the side here. Work, make sure that you click. Oh, I'm gonna to move to the side here. Make sure that you click on the box that's just gonna appear there because there we're gonna talk about posture. 